Hi guys, I hope you're all very well and in today's video I'm going to walk you through a simple repeatable trading strategy that not only works uh, as you're about to find out but that comes with a very high win rate and it couldn't be any easier to trade. So stay tuned and let's dive straight in together. Hi guys, Will here from WB Trading and welcome back. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the free content that I share with the trading community here on YouTube. So before we dive into the strategy, I need to share a very quick story that will actually help you understand exactly why this strategy works so well. So please don't skip this part as it's really important that you understand the fundamental reason why this strategy actually provides edge uh, first and foremost. So again, don't be one of those people who starts skipping around the video as you'll no doubt miss something important uh, and this then won't work for you. So stay with me here. So a few weeks ago now, there was a massive impulse move uh, within a, a certain market, much like the one we see here on screen right now. And when it happened, I was talking to a friend of mine via Skype uh, who asked to, to pause our conversation really quickly whilst he actually sold into the bottom of this move, okay? And we were discussing each other's strategies uh, and he walked me through the reason why one of his edges was actually built around trading impulse moves. And what he outlined for me was just such a simple, such a well thought out, uh, repeatable source of edge. Uh, and that is exactly what I'm actually going to be outlining for you today in this video uh, with his permission. I should add too. Now, if we look at this impulse move to the downside here, some of you might be thinking, well, we're coming up to a support level, so I'd be looking to get long. And others of you might be thinking, yep, it's a, it's a strong move to the downside, so I'd definitely be looking to sell into this. You know, both sides of the coin, so to speak. And in fact, if you would, pause this video for just a second and just let me know which way you'd have traded here, long or short. So pause the video, uh, drop me a comment just below and let me know whether you'd be looking to buy this move or sell this move initially. It'd be really great to, uh, to get your early thoughts on this before we go any further. Again, pause the video uh, and just drop me a comment below the video if you would. Now, one thing that I was discussing with, uh, with my friend, with this other trader, was the fact that statistically, when large up moves take place or large down moves take place, the vast majority of traders actually trade against the move. So what we did was jump on Twitter as the move was actually taking place and we searched the ticker symbol and just watched what tweets were coming in. And it was just fascinating to see pretty much every trader buying the market, getting stopped out, buying the market again, getting stopped out as price just crawled further and further downwards. This is an essential component of this strategy, liquidity, and really going against what feels like the right thing to do, okay? And it actually brings me back to, to thinking about a Twitter message that I once received. This was, it was quite a while ago now, uh, but a trader was explaining his strategy to me, and unfortunately, I used the term strategy quite, quite loosely. And what this trader had done was literally read one Warren Buffett's book, open a trading account, uh, and I am being deadly serious here, I really am. His strategy was, well, what goes up has to come down, and what goes down has to come back up. Honestly, I'm, I'm deadly serious there. Those were his exact words, that was his strategy. Uh, so, you know, no idea where to buy or why, no idea where to put a stop loss or a target or why, just if price goes down more than usual, buy it. If price goes up more than usual, sell it. And honestly, you'd be amazed, you'd, you'd be blown away at how many traders, in fact, I dare say the vast majority of traders uh, do the same. And if you're thinking, well, no one is, uh, well, is, is that stupid? I can actually prove it to you by using what's called a broker sentiment reading. And what a broker sentiment reading does is it tells you things like how many traders are either long or short, uh, how many traders got long or short in the last hour, across the last session, and so on. Uh, and it's a really interesting tool for this very reason. So head away, take a look at this after the call today, and you can dive into this for yourself. But you'll notice nine times out of 10, uh, whenever an impulse move actually takes place, just watch how many traders pile in uh, in the opposite direction. So buying down moves, selling up moves. 
And this is the fundamental reason, uh, as explained to me by my friend, as to why he trades this edge, as to why he follows price, so to speak, uh, during these large impulse moves. Because as the market liquidates people's stop losses, this then fuels the continuation of the move and leads to some just huge continued directional price movements. And you can observe these for yourself by combing back through the markets uh, after the video today using what you're about to learn. And believe me, when you understand the, the circuitry and the fundamental reasoning uh, behind why these impulse moves so often carry on moving in one direction, uh, that in itself provides you with a pretty massive source of edge over a lot of other traders. You know, you're learning something really powerful here in today's video. It's, it's something that you can take in many different directions and it's something that's just boosted your edge over, again, the vast majority of other traders that haven't quite realized this yet. See, again, the majority of traders believe that age-old myth, what goes up must come down, much like the trader who explained his strategy to me uh, in my Twitter inbox that day that I mentioned. And then soon after what happened, he blew his account. You know, the vast majority of retail traders out there will sell into up moves and they'll buy into down moves. And this is proven again via client sentiment provided by brokers. So next time you see one of these impulse moves taking place, uh, consider what you've learned here today. So take a look at the sentiment reading for the market. Search the ticker symbol on Twitter and just observe what the masses are actually doing and consider that all important question. Where, where are their stop losses? Okay, because as we all know, uh, and in fact, maybe you, you don't know this yet, but markets tend to seek liquidity. So wherever there is a buildup of stop losses, uh, particularly in environments like we're seeing here, uh, where we have a strong directional move. If in most cases, the majority are buying, ideally you want to be selling into their stop losses uh, and then capitalizing on that liquidity that's being provided. Now, will this work every time? Will buying these impulse moves, selling these impulse moves, uh, trading with price work every time? No way, no. Will it work more often than not though? Well, the answer to that question might actually surprise you. Now, I've chosen not to share any data here uh, on purpose today because I'm not <laughs> doing all of the hard work for you basically, but take what I've shared here today away, uh, put in some thoughts and some research, take a look at client sentiment if you haven't already, and I guarantee you there is a very substantial source of edge here to be capitalized on. This is a really, really powerful strategy, a really powerful setup. Uh, and when you start seeing these impulse moves now and you see them following through, it may just give you that additional source of edge needed to uh, pull that extra bit of money out of the markets. And if you're willing to do the necessary research and build the relevant data uh, and begin putting a framework in place, there is a really, really powerful strategy uh, to be built around this. That's, that's for sure. So before I leave you, let's summarize the components of the strategy and we'll actually lay out what you're looking for so that you're able to begin trading this in the future. So firstly, you're looking for, as we've covered already, uh, an impulse move. And I'd suggest using a lower time frame so that these are that little bit more defined. So for example, the 15 minute time frame or lower. And if you're unsure how I'm defining an impulse move, it's a consistent, obvious push away from current price. So if you're ever unsure, then it isn't an impulse move. They, they stand out a mile away. From there, you're looking to execute whilst managing risk. And when it comes to stop loss placement, you're looking for a recent high or a recent low, depending on whether you're getting long or short. And if you struggle with stop loss placement, I actually recently put together a video on how to know exactly where to place a stop loss, which you can find here on the channel. And from there, after execution with a stop loss in place, you can either use a static target based on, let's say, maximum favorable excursion data, or you can trail a stop loss or, or whatever you like, completely or call. And uh, that's where building data will come in. With that covered, uh, one last thing to add. Remember, the majority will trade against price, against these, uh, these impulse moves. And as we've covered, the majority are almost always wrong. So just, just some food for thought there. Anyway, I hope that helps. Hopefully that's triggered some inspiration. And again, this edge to be had in trading these impulse moves. So hopefully this video will lead to some really profitable discoveries uh, for you all going forwards. Anyway, I'll leave it there for today. And as always, trade with edge, with consistency. And I look forward to having you back here on the channel soon. Thanks guys.